Hi, and welcome to another Forge tutorial video. Uh, and today we are servicing a piston actuator. And we're gonna disassemble the actuator body here and put in some new components to service it. The tools we're gonna need for this are a three mil Allen key, some pliers, and a 12 millimeter socket. Now with your pliers, I'd recommend uh, putting some tape over the end to save bruising, bruising any of the components. First protocol is to remove the top. If you grab it like so, fingers at the bottom, thumb at the top, and slowly take the fasteners out. So when we get down to the last couple of fasteners, you're gonna to need to start applying some pressure to keep the body squeezed together because it's sprung loaded. So just start to apply a wee bit of pressure on there, keep the body together. This is obviously harder depending on what spring weight you've got in there. <laughs> and there we go. So just take strength. There we go. And there's a final fastener there. So that's the body top. And it's the body rod. So that is the disassembly of the actuator. So let's open up the uh, service kit for this particular actuator. So, service kit is FMPACSK. Uh, this is a piston uh, actuator service kit. And inside, you get a forward sticker, replacement O rings, a of grease. New piston, a brass bush, and new back port. Right, so after uh, disassembly, the first job is to remove the original piston. Uh, now, this is a little bit tricky to do. Uh, there's several ways of doing it. The easiest way put some air down with it using an airline, put some air down the back port, and it'll push the piston straight out. Um, or taking the vac port out and using the very small flat blades, go out, screw over to push it out, or just use your hands and just start to get it to come away and grab your pliers because this is going to be sacrificial now anyway. Prize piston out like so. So we can discard that. Now inside the body, we've got uh, well, grease and O-rings. So first port call is to clean the inside of the actuator. Yeah. All the grease and debris. And actually you may want to use to collect cleaner or brake cleaner. Just get air or any contaminants out. Now, just using your nail, or a flat bit of screws over, but I would suggest your nail, um, remove the original O-rings. You know, try to avoid flat bit of screws over because we've had in the past people damage bodies. So, that's the body top strip down. Grab your replacement O-rings and push them into the O-ring grooves. Right, so that the o-rings in so the supplied grease take your pot of grease put your finger in there we do recommend you wear gloves for doing this um, and just smear it on the inside of the body now, with any remaining grease whatever you've got left out and just smear some on the actual piston there we go. So that's the first stage, replacing the vac port here. So again, just use your, your pliers and just turn anti-clockwise and eventually it will start to go. It will feel a bit tight because we do thread lock these. There we go. 
take your new back nipple and slowly turn it clockwise, do it by hand so you get to the to the end there and just use your, again use your pliers just to nip it back up. There we go. That'll do. Right, so that's the uh, actuator body top complete. So now we need to replace this bush here. It's a remaining component from our service kit. Uh, so the rod will just pull out the body, bottom half of the body. You can take your 11mm spanner and your pliers. Pliers go on the end of the turnbuckle here and just break off the nut like so. There we go. And I should come away by hand. The turnbuckle will remove. So, and before removing your turnbuckle, you can mark where it was located. However, by the time you've unscrewed the nut off, it usually rubs a mark off. I will show you at the end of this installation of how to set up the turnbuckle and actuator back onto your turbo. There we go. So, just remember the orientation. The rounded side is facing the wastegate, and the uh, seated side here is facing the spring. So that can go. And the new component just drops in, and you know it's right because the spring will sit in it and seats into it nicely. Like so. Okay. And again, just the reverse order of disassembly here. Wind your nut back on. Buckle to roughly where it was before, and just nip it up like that, just by hand for now. Push this back into the body. And just remember your orientation where it needs the back port needs to sit when reassembling the top. So be somewhere handy there and drop in the first of the fasteners. So let's gently pop it in. There we go. And then do the opposite side. Don't need to tighten up all the way just yet. There we go. Just a bit. So once you've got all the fasteners in place, Go around in a clockwise movement. Just go through every fastener and torque them up. When reinstalling, uh, mount the actuator back onto the turbo. We suggest that the turnbuckle be about half an eye uh, uh, short of the wastegate so that you have to physically pull out the actuator rod and drop it onto the wastegate um, just so that it makes the actuator nice and responsive um, when it's busy. So that's the uh, service for the forge piston actuators complete. Uh, please uh, join us again for another video. Um, hope you enjoyed this one. Please like and subscribe if you did.